Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Angelus. I'm a minimalist gamer, streamer, and content creator. And today, I would like to take the opportunity to talk about my macro hatch build. Now this is a topic that gets brought up quite often and it always looks a little weird the first time you see it. it kind of doesn't make sense. So a little background on myself. I have been playing StarCraft 2 since beta Wings of Liberty and I've always been Masters or Grandmasters level. And this is a build that I developed very, very early on. Either it was during the beta or probably within the first hundred games of Wings of Liberty. And I've done it probably 30,000 times since then. Now, for those of you who do not know, I do stream on Twitch five days a week and would love to have you guys stop by, hang out, have a good time. You can find the link down in the description below. But back to the topic at hand, my macro hatch build. Let's get into it. All right, so on the left hand side, I have a game where I am playing very standard Playing like everyone else, just taking the expansion, hatch gas pull open, nothing too crazy. And on the right hand side, I am doing my macro hatch build, where I will build a hatchery in my main, and then the gas in the spawning pool, and then a natural expansion. Now, a few key things to note I do play a little greedy and a little bit different than other players. I like to put 18 workers on my mineral line and two on my first gas for about the first five minutes or so before moving up to higher amounts there. Now, as you can see in this video, my hatchery, my gas, my spawning pool will all go down at the same time, give or take a second or two with me just having poor mechanics, not building the drone as soon as I could or, or pushing the button as soon as I could moving into position properly, things like that. But for the most part, you're going to see that it's very, very much the same. Now, a few key things to note about the macro hatch build that I do really enjoy. One, it gives me supply. Two, it spreads creep and connects my bases, allows me to put my creep tumor a little bit further. Uh, and closer to my third, it gives me more rapid production and it's much safer as if a cannon rush or bunker rush were to attack my expansion. I could simply cancel it, fall back to the one ramp and defend using both of my hatcheries. But the key thing here is the larva production. Every hatchery will give you one larva Per 10 seconds and here we can see that our hatcheries finish at the same time the natural hatchery finishes up at about 208 the macro hatch also finishes at the same time and on the left hand side I start two queens that's four supply and this is going to be my larva income each hatchery will provide me six larva per minute, as we just said, one larva per 10 seconds. And then the queens will provide me with six per minute as well. And I will get 24 larva on the left side. Now over on the right hand side, I have three hatcheries at six per minute. That's 18. And then a queen also providing me six. That's another, or, or another six rather. And that also gives me 24 per minute. So the larva income is exactly the same on both sides. At 245, our third bases have gone down and everything is very similar. You can see we're at 35 supply on both sides here. And on the left hand side, we have an additional queen. That's two supply that we should always be ahead on the right. Now again, except for a few mechanical things where I didn't push the button exactly 100% perfectly, this is very, very similar. 16 workers on the left-hand side, 15 on the right-hand side. Both of them will go up to 18 
in just a moment right here as both of our expansions finish up our third bases at 356 our naturals are completely saturated and we begin making drones for the third base this entire time despite only having one queen on the right hand side and now moving up to three queens on the left hand side we have kept up in supply regardless and here i would like to take the opportunity to pause the video and look at our supply on both sides on the right hand side we are at 61 supply and on the left hand side we are at 65 supply four supply on the left hand side has gone to two additional queens which means that the remaining supply has been put into drones so as you can see on both sides we are dead even at around this 430 mark if i go ahead and continue this you will see that our drones spawn again give or take a second or two of me just not pushing the button as soon as possible our third bases are saturated all right so back on over here this is important to note because with the macro hatch build we're never falling behind we only ever build the one queen but we are keeping up with standard level play so you're sitting there and you're saying well angelus if it's exactly the same why go through the effort well here's the thing it's less effort one you don't need to be on top of your injects as well because if you have one queen per hatchery and you miss an inject there's nowhere to put it if you're a lower level player and you can't keep up on the injects and your queen ends up with 50 energy well you have spare hatcheries and you can just inject your main hatchery and your macro hatchery and all of a sudden the larva gets made up for now if you're a higher level player and you're able to keep up on the macro and you can inject perfectly then the advantage comes around the four minute mark or so when you start making your additional queens because you will then go from one queen to four queens instantly and all of those will inject now while those are building you will finish the saturation on your third as we just showed you there with the 430 uh saturation all the drones will get done four queens will then be out on the field they will all inject and all of your larva will be doubled because of the queens and they will go into units for you to fight with and defend with it's very very easy very simple and it's very beginner friendly but like i said for the higher level players who can do it perfectly it's also very rewarding because you do end up in a position where you skyrocket your production just a little bit better than the standard build now hopefully this has enlightened you a little bit and answered some of your questions about my build as i know that sometimes it can be very confusing and people don't always get it right away if you have any more questions please leave a comment down below or come ask me on my stream have a wonderful day and happy gaming